What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we are inside of Windows 2016 server. And as you can tell, we have our services open, and we're looking at the VMware tools. And for some reason, it does not auto run whenever we reboot the system. Every single time that we reboot the system, we always have to come in here, right click, and choose start. And that is done on each and every one of the servers. And this is becoming quite annoying. So, what I did is I did some research and I found a script. And I will have the link in the description where you can actually go and look at this script and you can actually get it from there or you can just get the script from the description below. Now what we're going to do first is that we have to come in here and we have to enable a few things in order to allow you to remotely start these services. The first thing we got to do is come to each one of our servers. Come over here to our search and we're going to type in power for PowerShell. Right click on it and choose run as admin and choose yes we're going to do this over here as well okay and so with it ready we're going to type in enable okay what this is this is going to allow us to remotely run the powershell from within the network you can choose to do a force which I've run this and I am not prompted it does not give me any prompts so there may be some services where you are prompted or some things that you would run the PowerShell with, which you are prompted, so you would choose to do this. So we hit enter, and then we come over here, we do the same thing. So we can go ahead and close out of PowerShell on both of these systems here. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do, is that we need to come in and we need to create a list of our servers. So this is cars web one and cars web two. So that's cars dash web dash I, capital I, cars dash web dash ii so that's one and two i just like the way it looks better than actually typing out one and the two so we need to do this and then we save this as servers.txt and then we have this script right here so it's servers equals git dash content b calling backslash servers.txt so that is our text file that i just showed you so it's got one server line per or one server per line so we come over here and it's one server per line and then uh, we got all this information right here the computer name which is going to grab a hold of that which is the computer name is going to grab a hold of that from our list and then it's going to check if it's running if it's not running then it's going to run it so how you get the name of the service is that you right click on it go to properties and then you have your service name right here and this is what you want to put in to this area right here so you don't change anything else you just change where your server's list is located at and then right here is your server name so we need to come over here and we need to launch powershell so we're going to right click on it and choose to run as an administrator choose yes okay and let's go ahead and minimize this and then first things first is that we want to grab a hold of this one copy it and then come over here and just paste it and hit enter okay and if it does not find it then it's going to give you an error so let's go ahead and invoke that error so we're just going to add a, a double s on it and then you come over here you type it out and it's going to give you this error right here if it does not find it however it does find it so we're going to come over here and paste that in now simply just copy all of this right click on it and choose copy and then paste it all in and make sure that your service name is correct and then hit enter give it a second okay now we should be able to refresh this. There it is, it is running. So we come over here to this one and we hit refresh and it is running. Okay, we can also run this as a bat file, which is preferred. That way you don't have to worry about having to go in and paste this in every single time that you want to do something. So we got our service list right here. However, you need to create a service list.ps1 file, which is simply this file right here. and what it's going to do is that it's going to look for this list. So you're going to have three files. This one, this one, and this one. So this file right here, we click on, go to edit. This is going to run it in administrator. And so this right here is going to run. And then it's going to grab a hold of this file right here. Which is then in return going to check this file. And then it is going to run it. So we're just going to go ahead and test this out. So let's go ahead and move this over to the side, right click and stop this service. We're going to come inside of here and we're going to add in 
Okay, so now we got three servers that are in the list. Let's go ahead and run this. Just simply double click on our start remote services. Choose yes. Okay, it took a little while longer than what it did the first time. So we can come here and we can see that it's running there and then it's running and it's running. So that is an easy way to get all of your services started without you having to do anything. All right, I am Wayne Baron, the StarTrek Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.